Celestial blessings, my name is Helen Demetriou and today I'm going to review for you To Light a Sacred Flame by Silver Ravenwolf. This is the third in the series uh, that started with To Ride a Silver Broomstick, the second being To Stir a Magic Cauldron and the third one To Light a Sacred Flame. Now, this book touches a lot on personal power. It explains to you about healing circles about glamouries, about spiritual house cleaning, banishing and blessings, about linking spells, about shrines, about the elements and the elementals. It talks about uh, being a solitary witch or working within a group or how to incorporate uh, your practice uh, with you in your family. But it talks about mastering your own power, about understanding your own power. And it has a lot of um, interesting and uh, valuable information. It talks about magical minutes and in each of these it gives an explanation of, uh, for example, the mother's candle. It teaches you how to make a mother candle. It talks a lot about, as I said, invoking your power, talking to the dead. Uh, it talks about um, how um, animal spirits come to us to give us extra power, how they to be respected, as a, an energy and a spirit on their own. It also explains about um, that we are the ones that can uh, create the world that we want. It talks about removing mental blocks. It gives you recipes, it gives you spells and rituals from doing those things. Also, it talks about creating a mental sacred space, not just a physical sacred space. It teaches you how to make your own magical signature powder. Um, how to bless your apparatus, your tools, your working space. So basically this is all about you, that you don't always need to have um, tools to be able to create magic or to, I call it science, to be able to make things happen in your life. The sacred flame is the sacred flame that lives within all of us. And this is what Silver Ravenwolf is really talking about in this book. So as we know, you know, following the craft is not just a practical thing. We have to incorporate spirituality into it, mind uh, magic, mind power, emotions. Um, and she really does go into every detail to help you to, uh, to find yourself, to find your inner power and how to express that inner power and use it within your craft, which is really important. You know, it's very, very important to understand your power and, it, and understand that, you know, you are the one that makes the magic move, not your tools or anything else. Those are just props, basically. With this book, we understand how to make magic work just when it's just ourselves and nothing else. So I highly recommend the books, the whole books in the series. Um, if you really don't like Silver Ravenwolf's style of writing, just try and take from these books, for any single book, if you don't like the way of speaking, just take from it what you need and discard the rest. And they're always good to have these books. If you don't want to pay for money to keep the books, you just want to have a look, then go to the library. Maybe they have these books there. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.